Water is a necessity of life. People use it for everything. For drinking, bathing, and other living activities. Others can enjoy it freely without any fear, because they think it'll never run out, so they could get it anywhere and any time they want. And they know they have the right to deserve it. But it doesn't apply to him. Not for Lolo. Trout, limited water, torture are suitable to describe his current situation. Unlike those who have unlimited water, Lolo is a man making a living in some respects is saving the water. Even to get money and water, he must find and kill tamariks. Yes, he is a tamariks hunter. Lived in Colorado. When everyone left this place, he chose to stay. Survive in a place when there is almost no life. Almost no water. Just desert all way long. Just a hot and lonely place. The tribal water crisis in here demanded him to cut and document the foul tamarids to survive, so he would get money and water by the government. When there is someone like him who lives in Colorado, struggling for water. The people who live in California enjoy water as much as they want. The truth behind this, there is water, but Lolo cannot touch it. Californians take all the water from the river, so people who like Lolo just watch as a fool. When 4.4 million acre feet of water was taken away and floated by a straw, so that the water only flowed to California. And everyone cannot approach it because it was guarded by guards. Being respectfully and closely guard every drop of water is the reason why government will give Lolo money and water if he cut down tamariks. It's because tamariks can suck up thousands of gallons of water in a year. So they thought that those plants must be eradicated for taking up the portion of the water. At first, being a tamarix hunter is not a problem because these plants are easily found along the banks of the Colorado River. However, as time went by, the number was dwindling. This is what motivates Lolo to be sneaky. He replants tamarix, which is illegal to do, but by doing this, he won't run out the tamarix. He didn't tell this matter to his wife, also his friend Travis, who struggled to find a tamarix, he couldn't say anything about his secret. The cruel water crisis forced him to be selfish. But one day, his wife tells him that there are gods who are looking for him. At first, he already thought that the guards knew about the receding tamarix and going to arrest him. But when they met, Lolo recognized that one of the guards is his old friend, Hale. They were there to offer purchase to Lolo instead of arresting him. Because of the straw, there will be no river for Lolo to get rid of the streets. So the government offered Lolo $5,000 for his land. They want him moved to the north.